Ryan, could 30-year homeowner rates go to 0%? You know what, Ben? 0% may sound like a trick, but the rates that are currently in the 3% range are certainly a treat. And even think about Halloween right now seems crazy. I mean, wasn't it just the 4th of July? A QE3 scares some people like the ghosts and the ghouls of Halloween. In fact, we've had more questions about QE3 or is what we're affectionately calling QE Unlimited. And stay tuned to the end of the video where we announce our first winner of a round of golf with Ryan and me. But first, let's get some of those questions answered. I'm Ben Brashen. And I'm Ryan Leopold and welcome back to Mortgage Resource TV. Now Ben, let's not get carried away, but I heard from one of my potential clients over the weekend that interest rates could get down to 0%. Well, I know they won't, but since the QE3 announcement nearly three weeks ago, rates have indeed fallen. Yeah. And the average rate for a conforming loan last week was just under 3.5%, but a jumbo loan was over 4 Yeah, and given the European issues, rates will potentially keep falling, but not all rates. So let's answer our first question. Will QE3 affect all mortgage rates, Ben? Well, quite simply, the answer is no. Remember, two things when thinking about rates on home loans. The first is that QE Unlimited involves the purchase of agency securities, so Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. That's not Jumbo, it's not Altay or Portfolio or whatever else is out there. So you should only expect QE3 to actually lower rates on conforming loans. Okay, so some of the guys with Jumbo loans aren't going to have their rates as low as maybe they want. But the question is, how low will conforming rates go, Ben? Well, and that isn't quite as simple as an answer. But the real thing is that at some level, a bank or other investor will not want to own a 30-year security yielding next to nothing. Mm -hmm. And had you asked me a few years ago, I would have said that 3% was next to nothing. And <laughs> now that we're here, I mean, we're really in uncharted territory. Sure. It's very tough to say how much lower is even possible. Quite frankly, no matter where you hope rates may go, the current rates are most certainly lower than most people have. Waiting may not be worth the risk. One more is in the three is better than two in the twos. Nice birds in a bush reference, Ryan. Now to announce our winner. Congratulations to George Beasley for winning a day of golf with Ben and I at Aldera. Now make sure you stay tuned to next week's blog to find out what you can win this winter just for watching and commenting on our blogs. I'm Ben Brashen. And I'm Ryan Leopold. And thanks again for watching Mortgage Resource TV. Okay, so some of the guys with jumbo loans are not going to quite have as low a rates as they want. Mac me. Mac me. QE3. <laughs> you just. I'm like, no, I'm like, <laughs> stop it. QE3 scares some people like the ghosts and the ghouls of Halloween. Is that right, ghouls? <laughs> it's still ghouls, right. ghouls. It's still what the hell is a ghoul? It's a thing that's like a ghost. A monster?